positive people, it's Jay right here. So right now is Sunday night and earlier this day was very productive for me because I, um, I got to serve in a church and also in the afternoon I preached in a group of young people and it was such a blessing. This day is an amazing day for me. Right now, I am on my way to go to Manila Airport because I am traveling Thailand. All my bags are packed now. Look at this. My room is kind of messy. I'm sorry about that. So I'm only traveling with two backpacks for me to easily carry them on. Yeah, so right now, um, I'm running out of time. I need to go to the airport. It's already midnight now and I have to catch the uh, 1 a.m. bus. It takes around three to four hours from where my place is to Manila Airport. But for me, since I have the uh, vlogger superpower, I can go to Manila Airport in just a snap, just like this. And I'm here at the airport now using my teleportation magic. Only vloggers can do that. And I'm just waiting for my flight to go to actually five hours stay over in Malaysia first and then head go to, to Thailand um, in the evening. So yeah, I arrived here around four and my flight is 6.45. So I have lots of time to, to walk around and to fix all the stuff I need to fix first before I go to my place, before I go to Kuala Lumpur. now and I've got a place where I can film myself, where I can vlog because whenever I vlog in public I don't think I'm comfortable about it. I think at the back of my head people are judging me and saying something about it and that is my kryptonite. I think all vloggers kryptonite is to vlog in the public. Well um, I'm kind of exhausted today. It's just the start of the day but I'm already exhausted. I'm already tired because I haven't gotten a good sleep yet. But I just want to share with you guys what I've been through this morning. It's kind of hard for me whenever I pass through the immigration because and they always ask me same questions like um, who are you visiting there? Are you traveling alone? Where do you work in the Philippines? What kind of job do you have? And I don't know. It's just making it, uh, they're just making the process very slow and making the line very long. And the, uh, the girl, the staff in the immigration, the Philippine immigration, I think she's trying to look strict because she looks really grumpy. <laughs> and then after I passed it, she stamped my passport and then I had to switch to the, the boarding gate. Yeah, now I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And even in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, it's still crazy because the line in the immigration is really, really, really long. And I have no idea actually which line to fall in. I just follow the people in front of me. And I stayed falling in line in the immigration for an hour. I thought I'm gonna spend all my late over time in there. So I arrived here at 10 and I finished 11, 11.25. So, so it has taken lots of my time. But all of a sudden, I found this restaurant. I felt so hungry because this place smells really delicious and I left with no choice but I'm just come here and eat in this place. So yeah, after this, after I eat my lunch here, actually I haven't eaten my breakfast, my uh, lunch yet, so I felt so hungry. So after I eat here, and I, I'm gonna head straight to Petronas Minerals. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, thank you. Let's go find a taxi. Hi, do I need to buy a ticket first? Okay, yeah. Which one? Four five six for taxi. Yeah, for taxi. Okay. Which one? Number? Four five six. Okay, thank you. Four by meter, five six by good. Okay, thank you. So you need to pay in the counter, two ringgit first, and then the rest of the payment. You give it to the taxi driver. Business is business. Here you go. Where are you going? I'm gonna go to Patronas Twin Towers. Patronas Twin Towers. Yep. Is that far from here? Okay. Last one. 
Last one, okay, thank you. Hi, is this my taxi? Ah. The budget one? Budget, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go to Patronas Twin Towers. Uh, around 19. All right, sure, no problem. You're just empty? Yeah. Yeah. I'm only staying here for five hours. Ah, so you, you go to uh, Go tower, to take a picture of Petronas Twin Towers ah, and then okay. come back here, ah. go to Thailand. Ah. <laughs> now I've found myself a taxi on my way to Petronas Twin Towers. And with regards to that, the thing I'm talking about, about the immigration, it's better if you guys wear like a Coco Martin kind of fashion so that they won't ask you lots of questions anymore. When they see you, they know that you were a tourist, bring in your camera, and with your uh, tourist kind of luggage, then they will think that you really, you really are a tourist. Because you know, they have to be very, very careful when it comes to uh, their observation about people because um, you know, we, they are avoiding human trafficking and illegal workers to go abroad. They're just doing their part. Now I understand them. I mean, I've been here before um, from Bali, Indonesia. I got a day of layover here in Malaysia, but it didn't happen because I lost my passport in Indonesia. And so um, going back to the Philippines, I only have to stay inside the airport of Malaysia for one whole day before my next flight to going back to the Philippines. So I pretty much wasted my one whole day in inside the airport, but now I've gotten only five hours of stay here. After that, I head to Thailand. Why not use five hours to go visit some other places here and then just go back to the airport after so that our time won't be wasted, right? Bang. Bang. Wow, you're so kind, Pang. So How are you? I'm Jolor. Jolo? Yeah. Filipini? That's a... Uh, ah, Jolo. So my driver asked me if uh, after I visit um, Petronas Twin Towers, I go back to the airport and I said yes. And since I'm all alone and it's hard to pick up taxi in the Petronas Twin Towers, then he offered me like, he will walk me around, he will drive me around Petronas Twin Towers and then of course, I'm not staying there for a very long time. And after like maybe 30 minutes of just uh, staying in there, then I go back to the airport. So he offered me to drive me to go there and um, drive me to go back to the airport. And that's more convenient than looking for another taxi to go back. So yes. thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. I drive there, I wait there. Yeah. I can even bring you walk around. And then after that, come you back. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. It's gonna be finished two years from now, right? Yeah. And that has 106 floors. 106 story building. And I made it to the Petronas Twin Towers. There you go. I told him if I can leave there my jacket because it is really hot outside here and also leave my neck pillow there. He said yes, he'll just take um, his lunch and then pick me up later again at 2 p.m. And then he told me like, oh, why don't you also just leave your bag here? But don't worry, I will take care of it. You can trust me, just get my plate number. And uh, I told him like, now I'm good. I'll uh, just bring my bag with me and there are stuffs I need inside this bag, so uh, I'm taking it with me. And he said, yeah, 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 it's okay. I mean, Malaysian people are really trust... I mean, you can really trust Malaysian people here. They don't lie to you and they don't charge you... Um, they don't charge you more than the money that is uh, needed to pay them. So I'm loving it here. Unfortunately, I'm, I only, I've only gotten a very short time of staying here. So next time I come here for a visit, I'm gonna make it two weeks or one week enough to enjoy and uh, 
experience in Malaysia. I'm here in front of Petronas Twin Towers and this guy right here, what is your name? My name is Hakim. Yeah, so he introduced this kind of lenses to yeah, me. Yeah, this is lens. Can you tell people what that is? This is lens, you can take full view. In full building, when you take this one, good. So uh, this lens makes it like um, wider, wider wide angle, angle. Wide, yeah. wide angle of like if you want to take, if you want to take photo or video of the whole thing, with Petronas Twin Towers thing, then you come visit Petronas Twin Towers, find Hakim, yeah, and buy, buy lenses. He, he's, he was selling this for 75, I got it for, for 50. 50 yeah. I got it for 50. So come here, find Hakim, and check this lenses yeah, this out. This the lens camera. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Hakim. Thank you, bye. taking some photos of the Petronas Twin Towers. Wait, Champ, please, could you please focus on me? Are you trying to focus right now? Huh? Are you trying to focus? You focus my face? Focus my face? Well, going back to what I was saying, after taking a couple of photos and getting these lens from the guy over there, I forgot his name, Hakim, yeah, I think that was Hakim. This is pretty nice. I loved it. Look at here. Uh, the shots he took from me. Look at the shots he took of me, and they're really awesome. I was not expecting for, to have photos like this. Well, I arrived here, I thought like maybe I'll just take a couple of shots of the tower, and this is what he gave me. Look at this. Wait, first, this is him. He said he wanted to take a photo of me, so I gave him this shot. He actually took this shot. Did you focus it? Can you focus it, Champ? By the way, my name of my camera is Champ, so I call him Champ. He has his own life. Uh, what else? This one, but it's kind of blurry. The color is not really saturated, but my, my position there is really nice, so I like it. He also asked me to sit down, and he gave me this kind of shot. Can you see it, Champ? Can you focus? Yeah, pretty much I can vlog in here, I can talk to myself in here because there aren't many people. I, just like what I told you, vlogging in the public is my kryptonite. And whenever I'm in the public, I feel so shy. Look at this. Hi, I'm not crazy. I'm just talking to the camera. <laughs> no, actually I'm doing this for myself because... Um, so, there were like a group of people in here a while ago, and while I was vlogging, they were laughing at me, and so I had to explain myself. I told them I'm not crazy, and I told them that I'm not talking to myself, but I'm talking to Champ. I'm talking to you, Champ. Mm-hmm. You. Yes, you. And then they asked me, hey, are you a vlogger? Are you a YouTuber? And then I told them that I'm not. I'm just taking these videos for myself to remind me of the uh, adventures and the places I visited in the future. Uh, they're pretty nice. They understood me in the end. <laughs> That's it. I just had to explain that because I thought I won't be comfortable after after this without explaining you guys. So, yep. Right now it's already 1:40 uh, p.m. Um, my taxi driver dropped me off here around 1 p.m. and I told him to come pick me up here again to drive me to the airport around 2 p.m. So. Um, I think the rest of the time I will just wait for him around here and we we'll go back to the airport. I don't want to miss my flight to Thailand. I don't want to brick again. I don't want to be late. There are lots of people inside the airport, so um, I think it's better if I go there early to fix all the things I need to fix in there. And, you know, 
um, if you go to the airport early, then no hassle at all of the things you need to fix with, of the things you need to work on with, with the immigration, with your ticket, with your boarding pass, with your boarding hands, with your check-ins, and all those stuff. For some of you guys who have traveled already, you know, and you understand what I'm talking about. So, yeah, um, pretty much I would just wait for my taxi driver day, and we go back to the airport. And I can do that in just a single snap like this. There you go. I am so bored now and I'm still waiting for my boarding gate to open. It's already 4 o'clock and my, uh, my gate opens at 5.10. And it is leaving for Thailand. <sighs> I'm still not comfortable vlogging with lots of people around me, so... And I just arrived here in Bangkok, Thailand. This is not to scare you. This car doesn't have lights, so I'm using my cell phone. Here you go. Cell phone's flashlight to give me light to show my face to you guys. I'm on a taxi right now. I'm on my way to my hostel. The name is Man Hostel. And it's kind of hard to find a place because the address that the Airbnb gave me is unsearchable. It's hard for me to search. So good thing I have a taxi here and he called the owner of it and he found out where the exact location is so we're on our way there and I also want to share with you guys the experience of, of uh, coming here in Bangkok, Thailand. It's, it is quite um, stressful as well it's because um, uh, when we landed in the airports, when we landed in Bangkok we, uh, I had to fall in line for almost 30 minutes and there are people who are impatient, foreigner people from different parts of the world, they are impatient, especially Chinese. Um, they cut in the line, so I hated it, and then I asked them to fall in line. I uh, got mad, I got angry, I told them, you have to fall in line, way over there, uh, way until the end over there, and if you don't want, just um, go back to your country, I told them. A good thing they didn't understand that. Uh, yeah, and then also um, after that, I, I, I got my bag and uh, checked if I can use their uh, data connection, their cell phone, SIM card, he, but unfortunately it doesn't work on my phone because my phone only works for the Philippines, but it doesn't work internationally. So I think I will have to rely to the internet connections and to the Wi-Fi connections of restaurants, hotels, wherever I go and it's challenging for me. So yep, I'm on my way to my hotel now and let's see if I still have time if I go and I'm gonna go to the uh, Sky Tower buffet restaurant. I hope I still have that time to be there because um, I, I'm really hungry and I really want to spend time. Actually that's the plan, that's my regional plan like when I uh, come here first night in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, my list is to visit that place. So I also have to add that um, I think I'm loving it here, especially with the, the boys of the girls they make, the sound they make. I remember while I was um, trying to buy a SIM card, um, the sales lady kept saying like. Uh, I cannot copy, but I think I'm, uh, but I just have to try. They say, uh, SIM card, SIM card, and keep asking that to people, and then they keep selling that to people, and their voice is so lovely, so sweet, and so soft. So, yeah, I don't know, but I think it's kind of weird. I'm weird, but I am, uh, I am so excited to hear more of, of Thai language. I don't know, I think I, uh, I, I am weird, but I'm excited to hear more of Thailand language, hear more people saying and speaking in their own language. <coughs> yeah, I just have to add that. Um, I cannot snap my fingers because I'm holding my, 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 my cell phone's flashlight and the other hand is my camera, I'm holding my camera, so I do multitasking, <laughs> but only to <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me again, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe because I'm so tired today. But yeah, see you. I'm stupid. Why do I keep 
forgetting filming myself whenever there is something funny happening yeah so uh, my driver my taxi driver right now just went to the uh, comfort room to pee and then he said a word that I did not understand he said kopun kap and then I asked him about that he said it's thank you in Thailand language so I asked him what's thank you and what's I'm sorry and he taught me in the, he taught me and his voice is kind of funny he said um, kopun kap Cotton cup. <laughs> I don't know if I sound the same with him, but that's really funny. So I, <sighs> I don't know what reaction I should give right now. But uh, <laughs> that's funny. Cup and cup, cotton cup. Now I learned two Thai language. Cup and cup. It's thank you. Cotton cup. That's I'm sorry. Mm. <clears throat> so I finally made it here in a man hostel. It is like an hour away from the airport and. The way to get here is really complicated. Good thing my driver is really good one. That's my driver. Good thing he's a really good driver, so he drive, so he dropped me off here safe and sound. And I'm having trouble looking for the uh, receptionist, the owner of this hotel. Do you have a lighter for the for the cigarette? Ah, yeah. yeah. Do you have a lighter? All right, so you get it. You're filming? Boring. Yeah, for myself only, but I'm not a vlogger. I'm not a YouTuber. Okay, so <laughs> what is like your passion? So I'm filming myself just to watch it in the future to remind myself. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> you only found friends, by the way. <laughs> Where are you from? Huh? I'm from the Philippines. Philippines. Nice. It was kind of hard to locate this place. The name of this place, by the way, is Mana Hostel. And I already met new friends like Eric, Tyler, and Antonio, and he's from Luxembourg. Check him out, he's right over the inside. Yeah, so this is my hostel. That's what it looks like outside, and that's it's kind of dark. It's really dark because it's nighttime, so you can't see it properly, you can see it clearly. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Antonio walking. Yep. My taxi driver charged me for 600 baht, and that is really expensive. He gave me also his calling card from for him to pick me up next uh, next Wednesday. Oh, dog is barking, just like my dogs in the Philippines. So whenever I go, dogs are always with me. It's already uh, 10:50. Hi, hi. I am okay. I'm gonna walk around, find a place where I can eat dinner. I am so hungry, really, really hungry. Let's go and check the food they've got here. It's like a food market. Hi, can I see your menu? Here. Thank you so much. What's your best seller here? The best food? Okay. This is the food that they have here. I'll make my order first and I will show you later the food I order. So first they gave me the condiments, the sauces. I hope they're not spicy and I hope they're uh, delicious. And I ordered the uh, 269 baht buffet. It's like eat all you can for two hours. It's crazy because they have two hours. I mean, they include time to have uh, that buffet. I cannot focus it. I cannot show it to the people. I don't yeah, there you go. Yeah. And this is the place. Look how crowded this place is. There are lots of people eating tonight. People from different countries. But most of them are from Thailand. I think this place is really, really famous for uh, Thai people. That's why they are here eating. Pretty much, uh, maybe this place is a place where people hang out together with their family, or with their friends, and it's a great place to, to, uh, to eat Thai food and food from different nationalities. So if you're a foreigner and if you want to eat something that you always eat back home, just, you know, come here and get to try the, the, the food that you must eat. Uh, people are looking at me 
because I'm vlogging. I don't know why. Maybe that's not usual heat. They're looking at my face. They're looking. They're checking out. Is he a vlogger? Is he fit to become a vlogger? So I do not. Check this out, you guys. I already ate the French fries. The tenderloin. The ribeye, I think. The teriyaki chicken. And this is where I'm going to grill all of them. and the lady gave me chicken nuggets and I don't know why maybe she heard chicken nuggets and not kimchi and I was looking for uh, kimchi again and then she gave me the uh, fried rice oh, I don't know what kind of hearing she has can you ask me again that question hello why what's that Oh no, I, I mean, you asked me the question, what's the aloe why? Then I say aloe. One more time. Yeah. No, no, you ask me the aloe why? And then I say aloe. Then I say aloe. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. It was very delicious. I just finished eating. It was really delicious. People are very kind to me. And I'm finishing the vlog here tonight. So that's it. And see you in the next vlog. I'm dark. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm in the dark. <laughs>